I just arrived in Philadelphia and I'm here for a day and a half and I'm visiting my best friend and also doing some sightseeing and I have a lot on my to-do list so let's get started. First I stopped at Sierra Green. To access it you have to go through the parking garage and up the stairs to the rooftop. Sierra Green is a public park with great views connected to an apartment building. And on Friday nights during the spring, it turns into a beer garden with music and drinks. So now I'm headed to dinner to meet up with my best friend. I haven't seen her in six months and we're going to Mission Taqueria. Mission Taqueria has a lively atmosphere and specializes in tacos, margaritas, and agua frescas. I was super impressed with the food and it was also so great to see Nicole. We're on our way to Reading Terminal Market and we're going to get some food. Reading Terminal Market is a public market with over 100 merchants. It opened in 1893 in what used to be a train station. Now the market is a fun place to grab a meal or a snack. Of course I had to try the Philly cheesesteak, a Philadelphia staple. Then we headed to Spruce Street Harbor, which is a park and urban beach along the Delaware River. There are lots of hammocks to lounge in and relax. There are also many food and drink options and ice cream stands. Another Philly classic is water ice, which is a tasty shaved ice treat. The harbor is in an area called Penn's Landing, which has a skate rink, seaport museum and warships, and boat rentals. It's pretty hot and humid, but we're on our way to the Magic Gardens for an event that they call Garden Sips because every Wednesday they have a bunch of happy hour specials around the city called Sips. So we're going to go to the Garden Sips. Philadelphia's Magic Gardens is a nonprofit art museum and gallery space featuring the mosaics of Isaiah Zagar. For this event, they had a DJ. <laughs> snacks and refreshments. And even arts and crafts. For dinner, we headed to the PHS Pop-Up Garden which is a seasonal outdoor garden with food and drinks. All of the proceeds go to the Pennsylvania Horticultural Society. They have a couple throughout the city. Our final morning, we had just enough time for breakfast before I caught my bus back to New York. We took our bagels to Rittenhouse Square and we're able to relax in this historic park and people watch before saying goodbye. I just arrived in New York. I took the mega bus from Philly to New York for $5. And the trip to Philadelphia was really fun. It was very short, but I'm glad I could go. Thank you guys so much for watching. You should comment below if you've ever been to Philadelphia or the East Coast. And I'll see you guys next week.